What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Big Shack Twelve here. Um, I got a little video for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to get remote control access from your iPad. <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. To your Mac, so via MacBook Pro, iMac, Mac Mini, whatever. So, uh, what would you have? What you have to do is download uh, Logic Remote off the App Store for your iPad. Right now, I'm using the iPad Mini, and uh, you can get remote control access either either through Wi-Fi or I'll show you another way to connect it um, through another network if Wi-Fi is not available. So, as you can see, I'm going to prove that I am on the same network. So, I'm on Rogers 94604. And on my iPad, I am also on Rogers 94604. So I'm on the same Wi-Fi network, and this will allow me to have remote access so I can have um, Mixer over here while I'm looking at the whole um, workspace with my tracks and everything. So all I have to do, open up Logic Pro 10 on your Mac, come on, focus, and you have your project open. Now head over to your iPad open up logic remote I already had it open so it will automatically sync but I'll show you how it would look if I didn't have the program open so a window will pop up searching for devices right here and cuz it's already been paired before it automatically links up when it's your first time uh, it will show the devices that are connected to the same network all you have to do is press that device, press on the screen on the device, and then head over back to your DAW on your computer and agree to connect. Once connected, you now have full remote control of your DAW. So I find this very easy for workflow. As you can see, like I can move up my faders here, master right there. All of the good stuff, but the good thing about it is the proof that it works. I'm gonna head over here on the mixer. Actually, I should just open up mixer window. So open the mixer. So just to guys give you perspective. Look at this. Full control. It's crazy, isn't it? So I can press play if I want, I can pan if I want, mute, solo, increasing my workflow rather than using a mouse. And plus there's multi-touch. So if I want to touch two faders, it controls two faders. And it will do also on my DAW. So um, that's a quick way to get remote control access off your Logic Pro 10 on your MacBook. I'm going to also show you how to connect it through just a random connection, not through Wi-Fi. So say you're at church or you're at a gig and you have, there's no Wi-Fi there, but you want remote access. I'm going to show you how to do it. So here, you go over to your connection area and you press create network. I'll just name it um, iPad mixer doesn't matter you can have security if you want channel 11 doesn't matter so I just create it so now it's creating network now my Wi-Fi will be turned off and I'll have this now I have sort of a network so I can even have two another iPad so I can control even more on my um, DAW so now I'll head over so now you see that it lost connection because this is currently connected to the house Wi-Fi so what I have to do, I have to back out, head over to settings, go to Wi-Fi, and now it's searching, see, devices, iPad mixer. So just press that, join anyways, go you know it's yourself. Now it's connected. So now I can just back out, go back in logic remote. Now it's gonna try and connect. At first, it might be a little glitchy because it's not Wi-Fi, but when it connects, it's going to be fine. 
Let's show you. See, the first time it won't work. Try again. And there you go. First time, first time won't connect, but the second time around it would work. Just to prove. And just to prove that it it's working fine. Here's my mixer. I just opened up the bottom area and look. Full control. So yeah guys, that's a quick way to get remote access to Logic Pro 10 on your MacBook using your iPad. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Rate, subscribe if you want, and leave a comment if you want. I'm not forcing you guys. Thanks for watching.